Hello and welcome to Excel Tip Zero. So we're going to just do some little basic things in Excel for this one. First off, Excel is a spreadsheet program and you can type in any cell. So I'm going to start and cells are labeled by A1, B1, B2. So this would be cell G3. So I'll start typing in cell G3. So the nice part about Excel is that you can easily move from cell to cell. By If we want to go um, right, we hit tab. And that's what I'm doing right now. And if we want to go down, we hit enter. And usually, like you just saw, enter will take you below, um, after you do a bunch of tabs, enter will take you below where you started. If you just click somewhere and hit enter, so for example, I click over here, enter will take you the cell below. So let's put a few, a few more text um, boxes in here. Okay, so now we have that. So what if I wanted to put something else in between hello there and in between how and are? There's a couple ways to do this. So let's first talk, let's say I just want to do in between hello there. I right click and I hit insert. So this gives me a couple options. I can shift cells down, shift cells right, or insert an entire row or entire column. Let's first shift cells right and see what happens. So that just puts another cell in here and doesn't shift anything else. So let's go back and do the same thing. But let's see what happens when we shift cells down. So you can see. So that's how you insert a cell. We can also insert more than one cell at a time. So if we insert like this, and we shift cells down, you can see it inserted three cells there, and shift those down by three. So that's great. But the other thing we might want to do is insert an entire row or entire column. So what this is going to do, if you insert an entire row, It'll actually insert a row above where you are. And the column will insert a column to the left of where you are. Okay, so we can sort of see how that works. Another way to do this, inserting rows and columns, is to click on the H or the numbers on the left if you want to do a row and hit insert. Like so. Okay, so that's how to insert. Um, to, to insert rows and columns. So the other way you can do it is maybe I want to delete this one. So I, maybe I couldn't do the undo button, button like I've done before. So if I want to delete row 4, I just right click and hit delete. Okay. So it's a little bit different to see a, to delete a cell though. So same thing with a column, I'll do that first. So we can delete the contents of a cell and that's what I just did here by hitting the delete button. But what if we want to delete the cell so everything shifts? Same thing before, we just hit delete, and we get the same sort of options here. So you can sort of see how this works. OK, so now we may want to co cut and copy some things. So let's say we want to copy this whole thing. We select it by clicking in the middle and dragging. And I usually do Control-C, which is copy and control V, which is paste. And you can sort of see the thing that's copied is, is um, has these little squiggly lines around it. So now let's try something else. Let's try to do this, but then we can also right click and hit copy. And then hit paste again. Or I can right click and hit paste. Okay, so that's sort of how to copy and, and paste. We could also, if sometimes we want to copy and paste a whole column, so maybe we want to copy and paste this whole column. So let's copy it. And then what I do to paste it is um, I can do a couple things. If I want to insert it, maybe I want to insert it in between these two rows, then I can go just like I'm going to do an insert, but see how it says insert copied cells? Then it'll go right in there. Or I could also just select um, a column where I want to put it and hit paste again. So that was, again, control V is paste. Good, so now we sort of have an idea of what to do now. Now, what if I um, type something in that's long, like, hello, how are you, in the same cell? And let's do it grammatically correct. 
and then I want to type the answer in the next cell. You see that we get cut off here. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this, um, but I'm going to show you how to correct this problem by making the column bigger. So you can see I made the column bigger by clicking up here and dragging. The other thing I could do is if I go to column width, I could just type in the width. So a smaller width of 8 gives me a small column. And a bigger width of 20 gives me a bigger one. The other thing with column width is maybe I want all the columns to be the same. Maybe I want all the columns to be 20. So I go into column width and type in 20. And it gives me all the columns of the same thing. And we can do the same thing with rows. So again, we can click and drag. And we can go to row height. Right, right now it's 60. So let's just make it 6, say. And you can see that sort of cuts it off because it's smaller than we want to do. So there, there you go. So that's sort of the sizing of the rows and columns. Um, and that's how to, to manipulate some, some of the sheet in Excel. Thank you for watching.